Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing fantastic. Those of you who are upright in your heart, um, welcome back if you are returning. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you have a birthday, happy birthday. If you have an anniversary, happy anniversary. Let's get started. Thank you, sweet divine of the universe, maker of heaven and earth, and the host of heaven. We just thank you for the archangels that um, encamp around those who fear you. And I do fear you, Jehovah. I thank you for your Yeshua, your salvation, and your prophecy, and your mighty hand coming in and forcing the wicked energy away from us. We just transmute every foul, demonic, witchcraft, warlock uh, spirit talking to the dead, familiar, nasty, uh, crazy people and entities in their head. We just thank you, Jehovah, that your arm is knocking them straight down to the lower parts of the earth and out of your earth so that uh, righteousness can be filled within it. We just give you praise, glory, and honor. Just come on into these gates, Jehovah. We just call for the north, the south, the east, and the west gates to open right now and the ancient gates to be open for the ancient of days to come in and to show that you are the same today as you were yesterday and will be forever that we do not have to fear because you are with us you are the great lord of the universe the lord of lords the king of kings you deserve praise and we just thank you knock the wicked down real hard expose them today Jehovah. those who would try to block people uh to do the right thing I just thank you, Jehovah, for your anointing to come up in here and uh, bend every uh, wicked energy that would try to bend others. I just thank you for the truth because truth really does set us free. I thank you for your grace and your divine grace today for those who need it. Just thank you, Jehovah. We just come against uh, any kind of magical spells or spell binding groups. We just loose you right now by way of Jehovah Elohim. You are being judged right now by the great creator of all things and the host thereof. I just thank you, Jehovah, that there is no power outside of your power. No one has no power outside of your power. I just thank you. What do you want to bring out here? What's the message? Thank you, Jehovah. That there is no fear in love. And we just wrap your love around us and we choose to walk within it because with it there is liberty found there. It chases away all the wicked who have no soul within. Those detached beings that have fallen to the earth expose them. Let them be bound with their own chains. Um, so we do have a victory. This was in my other reading just a minute ago. Um, it showed itself to me. It is the chariot moving forward and um, and uh, getting a victory. This is about self-disciplined in the mind space. This is the letter Z This in the Hebrew. This is the cutting implement here to cut something away and to move forward today with your willpower. There's also public recognition for something with a victory. That's positive. Even if you're feeling a little insecure, the Five of Pentacles is here. You don't have to because there's a victory. This out trumps that. Cut that crap away. Nobody can stop you. Stop having any kind of fears today. Uh, we just say that you you can do this. The Two of Wands is here. It's about making a decision, standing at a crossroad. What are you going to do? Because one road's going to eat your lunch if you don't do the correct things. This is about the truth. So let every person that's standing at that crossroad today and just standing there at the valley of decision, if you, if you stand there too long, let the devourer then come and get you and take you away because that's ridiculous. People do know what to do. You do. Let today be your last day. Uh, let Jehovah's arm come out and take you out of the way. We don't want you in the earth anymore then. You just prove who you are by not doing the right thing. You either are uh, full of the power of Jehovah on the inside and have courage within him and him alone and can go down the right way and cut down the wicked that told you, no, you can't, you got to stay uh, and cut them away. Or you are a freak and a giant and a loser because there's a victory here. There's a victory here. There's a victory here for a forgiveness of some kind. It is here. 
and somebody was needing some self-worth and stuff like that my other reading and you're going to just take the strength you got to take the arm of the most high and forgive yourself and others and uh come and take these two cups here and take a new drink or the five of cups represents somebody just sitting there crying over spilt milk you just prove that you're you're a mixture and you lost your soul and you don't have no strength within that's all you prove it's all you prove, people. It's all you prove. Um, Elohim hates a haughty look. So if there's somebody haughty around you, because we have pride and conceit that did come out and say, well, you can't do this or whatever. Well, you just know, that's your indicator right there. Well, wait a minute. Jehovah hates a haughty look. He hates you for doing that. I don't be around you. And you better move away real quick from somebody like that because he knocks that crap down real quick. You don't want to be around somebody like that. Um, you deal with, so... The hailstones are here. And this goes back to sacrificial things as well. Um, somebody is facing prison. That's the hangman energy. Let them go to prison, people. Let them go to prison. The only people that uh, are having a problem are the people who done some stupid. They need to get out of here. They've, they're already they're falling. Something unexpected is going to happen. There's something shocking here. That's right. That's a tower coming down on the proud. Because Elohim hates a haughty look. There's a victory here. <clears throat> I don't care what's taking place. Who thought that they were going to throw somebody out of organization. Just forgive yourself and get up. And do the right thing. Put your finger in the face of, of uh, the wicked. And make your decision today. Or let Jehovah cut you away. Today. Jehovah, today. I'm asking today. That if they do not choose the right thing. That today. You would vex them hard. Because that's cruelty in the earth. And you don't want that. And you don't want it. So, yes, if I regard iniquity in my heart, Jehovah will not hear me. Are you regarding iniquity? How can I do some wickedness today? That's crazy. That's haughtiness. That's that's nasty energy. That's pride and conceit. And uh, Jehovah don't hear you. You don't give a rip. You're standing there and I see what's in your freaking heart. You're a freak. You just prove who you are today. Um, Jehovah is, is saying, I want to make you feel alive again. Yes, yeah, step on the spider, step on the lizard, step on the, the, the lion, step on that snake, because you do have authority over it. You really do. Your child is here, or my child is here, something was a set up, but we know about it, and so you will be set free from it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, I promise you. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, get up and do the right thing, get up and do the right thing. You will not be hindered, but they will. They will be hindered. They will be inactive today. As somebody saying, don't leave me, don't leave me. Well, you either get up and prove that you can get up and do the right thing, or you're guilty of something, and you're a freak and a giant, and you don't get to, to stay uh, that way. We want you out of the earth today. And we just, we just declare and decree it today. We just declare and decree it today. Get up, people, and do the right thing. These stupid nasties do not have any kind of hold on you unless you give it to them. Okay? Um, Jehovah says you'll be respected if you, if you walk in his way. He will make sure that uh, you, you get a respect. Uh, even if you're coming out of something, he'll wash you clean today. The truth. His word is the truth. Get up now and do the right thing. There is no confusion in Jehovah when you are walking in his truth. Okay? I don't give a rip what the, if, if, if there's, if there's plotting going on, it will come to naught. It will, people, because Jehovah will make sure no weapon formed against you shall prosper. How many weapons? Well, maybe 50. Well, how many of them are going to prosper against you if you're walking in his, his word? Well, hmm, I think it said no weapon none of them get up go to your person go to your family forgive yourself get up send the stupid nasty freaks to hell where they belong because they're mixed at this point they're falling they're not coming back in their mind they're just not yes they're dead let them die let them go down the road that the dead is going to meet them because it is they stand in there stand in there stand in there stand in there or you can be whole uh, from within and be fruitful and eat of the true tree of life that Jehovah promises us and uh, shine from there. This is about high discernment. This is something ending. There's two roads. 
you've got a path here. Do you want to be complete or do you want to show up dead and nasty and gross with a bunch of other people? Because there's a sea of people that went down the, the broad road and they died. And somebody's fate today is death if they don't get up and do the right thing. But that's your choice. Because we just declare and decree you whole that you come on in here and you do something today about the freaks. It's time for them to go away now. We just step upon them with our feet by your power, through your spirit. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit, saith Jehovah. Yes, so there, there is, the, the tower is coming down today. This is the haughtiness, the haughty look. The eye is here, and Elohim hates a haughty look. And somebody says, if you do, well, you just say, well, if you do, uh, Jehovah's going to knock you down. You just prove who you are. Take your pride down. And uh, do the right thing today. This is knowing. Somebody does know what they need to do. Somebody also knows that there's a hundredfold return here as well. And you will be blessed. 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 There is a paradigm shift here today. There is. Thank you, Yehovah. Are you regarding iniquity in your heart? Huh? You will prove who you are by the end of the day. Uh, Jehovah, slay, slay, slay the wicked. Slay the wicked. Um, the high priestess wants to come out in the reverse. This is somebody's secret coming out. And then we have the queen of wands that also showed herself in the other reading. And so some people have had uh, the other woman and stuff like that. It, it will be known today. It needs to be known. There needs to be a message. There's also children here. There's also high volume discernment and spirituality and the truth as well with these cards in the upright. To bring a good solid message about something and send somebody else right down to the pit of hell. Because you're dealing with the fallen people. You're dealing with the fallen, wicked, nasty beast and a half. And only Jehovah can slay that. But you've got to do your part today you got to get up it, they're defeated they are defeated they are defeated they are defeated they have no they have no power people they just don't have no freaking power they're freaks thank you Jehovah. whatever took place whatever you were blackmailed within you hope is giving grace today a divine grace you've got to get up and move quickly Shield them, Jehovah. Let them run into the tower where they're safe because you are a strong tower. Jehovah says, if you humble yourself before me, I will lift you up today. And I'll give you, um, I'll give you respect. So, it is time for the real you to emerge. So, get up and do it. Get up and do it. And there is an angel of communication here to help you. So get up and do it. There will be protection from the Most High. Who do you believe? Huh? Who do you believe? You, Jehovah is skilled at what he does. And he's, this will take you back to communication as well. Get up and communicate. And don't be afraid. Make your contact. And let's see these other people, these things, these entities, these giants, these Nephilim to go right down to hell. Because we declare and decree it. And we thank you, Yehovah, for giving family members the courage to get up today and not be afraid of these freaks.